beautiful people welcome back so once you do get your sediment check the question is how do you then deposit it because the way that I did mine is now if you want you can actually make it an unincorporated association slash organization or nonprofit but given the nature of the things that I'm doing I specifically had them categorize it as a nonprofit. But naturally speaking, if you're not getting things like grants and if you're not doing things with real estate, you would be the mark the, the box that you would take is an incorporated association for slash organization. Naturally speaking, when you open up any bank account, they give you a signature card. Name, primary at the bottom of it it shows you it shows the undersigned certifies that name of company meaning you are opening this up as a business account this is not a personal thing again when you start to sue these people when it comes to asset protection and you're coming right and you do things right regardless of whether it looks like a name or sound like a name if you have the prerequisite information for it to be a business that's how you cash it in fact that's how you're supposed to so that some states don't do it through newspaper. Some states just do it through Secretary of State. If your state does not do it through a newspaper, then just leave this part out. But what I do with every entity that I open up business bank accounts for, this is, this is how to do it. You will take a W-9 with you. The purpose of a W-9, for those who are not aware, is to show the tax status. Because every time you withdraw any amount from any bank account whether it's personal or business they treat it on their bookkeeping as though they are giving you money right not that they're giving you your money that you deposited it's as though every time you withdraw a money is being created from their system and they are giving it to you despite you having previously deposited it so it's simulated on record as though they are actually giving you some type of earning that's how the banking system works so the important part from experience in the past is you must what I do is I wait so I pre-fill everything else and while I sit in front of that employee who opens up the business bank account I sign it in front of them like you would with a notary and I date it whatever date that the bank account is opened so those are two things you need a newspaper publication you need to bring your own w-9 and of course, you need a specific amount to open it. In this specific instance, the minimum amount to open a business bank account is a check-in specifically, not a business saving, business check-in, because for the business check-in, the terms and condition of how they use that money in the stock market is different so that you're not getting any interest back. That way, it's not scrutinized on a tax level. See, one of the reasons why this W-9 form is filled out is high all those business affairs in a public or private is nonetheless express stress and if you know how to function properly all the instruments you'll be presenting will be in point in accordance to the law this is a part of the thinking and the deductive reasoning and creative thinking that does not cross most people's minds when it comes to things of this nature and most people have not done this this is something you would never see anyone show you again that spiritual name of yours should be your 508 for my fellow Moors, when you hear about do business in your new name, this precisely is what Noble Drawley was making reference to. 508 is a religious entity, a spiritual name is tied to your spiritual beliefs. Put two and two together and do business in your new name. This is what you're looking at, the functional aspect. And this is what the functional aspect look like. What's the constitution and bylaws? This is on the website. So there's no need to show all this, but this is nonetheless part of the documents that we presented get the 508 members to sign it literally everything is legitimate you're not taking shortcuts you're not trying to deceive anybody you are actually doing exactly what you need to do according to the law you show the bylaws you show the proper establishment of the business itself another issue most people face when they do the name change and then they add that name change to the birth certificate and social security number 
whereby they basically defeat the intent and the purpose of them doing that name change in the first place. Because now they're just creating another form of Vince Ligas. When you do that name change, you're not supposed to add it to the Social Security or birth certificate. You're supposed to leave that be. And the way you take control of that new name is actually literally do business. Literally. Word for word. Do business in that new name. The part a lot of people are missing because they know, okay, now I have this new name. How do I open up a bank account? How do I do business? How do I interface? How do I live normal life? It's not hard. Just do business with it. Because people are still attached to that nine digit number. The bank is not going to ask you for anything else if you're coming in right with a business. Wherever a problem exists, a solution comes up. It's a point where you have to evolve. And this is the, the complete webinar is on the website, subtle Take care. Best of luck. Mm -hmm.